Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to prevent the usage of either NPM or YARN depending on your needs. This comes in handy when your team or organization has a preference for a specific package manager. With this method that I'm going to show you in a few moments, you ensure that everybody will be using the same package manager. If you prefer a written guide, I have prepared one just for you. The link is down below. Without further ado, let's get started. For a purpose of this video, I'm using the default Create React App project. You can use your own project, it doesn't really matter. Now, to specify what package manager we want to use, we must first edit a file called .npmrc. I don't have that file in this project, so I'm going to create it right now. Perfect. Now, we need to declare a value that will refuse to install any package that claims to not be compatible with a package manager we are going to work with. Now, type in engine-strict equals true. Now, we must open the package.json file and add a new section called engines. Here, we specify a version for npm that uh, doesn't exist and for yarn uh, we are going to use um, version greater or equal than 1.19.1 all right so this makes sure that when someone tries to use npm instead of yarn they will receive an error that outputs please use yarn now let's see it in action let's run npm install and see what output we're gonna get great we have the unsupported engine error and the text please use yarn that we added a moment ago in the package.json file so let's use yarn install now and see if this is working all right great this is working so this of course can be done the other way around if you want to prevent the usage of yarn all right guys that was it it is pretty straightforward and easy to ensure that only one package manager must be used inside your project this will reduce the chance of errors caused by developers that are using different package managers and uh, it is a good practice to standardize the project's coding rules and management. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. Cheers!